All right, so I'm taking a look at a pair of shorts. Now, I do have a bike, it's not a mountain bike, but it is a bike, and I do like to ride it occasionally when it's warm enough. And I like a pair of shorts, even when I'm not riding a bike, that are comfortable, kind of a loose fit, and the fact that these have the water repellent, quick dry aspect is really good, and the quick adjustment, I like the way it works, similar to some of the belts I own. Um, so I just kind of like that. The only thing that comes with it attached to it is the um, branding tag and the YK, YKK zipper tag. Comes in a little plastic bag, zip lock style or zip strip type, whatever. All right, so the shorts themselves are again very lightweight loose fitting i really like the way the material feels they have these mesh type pockets i don't know how well that shows up and of course you have the zipper so very easy and they're large enough to fit like a wallet or a cell phone so that's nice and other than that they have this I don't know how well it shows up. I'll show you in a moment. But it has this sort of rubber type uh, feel, similar to what I've had with some of the headbands that I've worn that have flashlights that help to hold them in place. So there's kind of this rubber piece that starts right about here. So just behind the side of your waist and goes, of course, to the other side. And that rubbery like feel kind of helps lock it in place so they don't move around a lot which is kind of nice I suppose that's very important for people who are riding the bicycle and all and then you have the zipper of course the fly area and then this piece over here for the adjustment which is sort of a ratcheting style and it just slides in and locks and you just squeeze on both sides and slides out so I'll take these off and show you this in more detail but I just want to give you an idea. They're very comfortable. I, said, I like them a lot. I really, you know, just to wear a pair of shorts, which isn't very often, I like something really lightweight and breathable. And this is the type of fabric that I prefer. So I think that, you know, these type shorts, this style, is just a really good choice. Um, let me show you what they look like in a little more detail, a little close up, and uh, show you a little bit of the water repellent aspect as well. Okay? Thanks. Alright, so if you want to find out more about these shorts, you can check out the link below the video. But I just wanted to kind of give you a little better, more close-up look at some of the different aspects of these. So, on the back here, I don't know how well it's going to show up, but hopefully you'll be able to see this piece across here is sort of a bit of a stretchy area. And then of course you go back into the uh, other type of material. On the inside, similar to the pockets, it's sort of a mesh-like interior. The zipper on the front, which works really, really well, very easy. And then I like this little closure And then you just kind of push those pieces right there. And when you do that, it releases. So that's really nice. Now this is a size 32, I'm five foot eight, about 125 pounds. Perfect fit. The rubber piece on the back I was talking about, you can see the shiny part. It's actually got the name in it right here, but it's still the same type consistency. It's a very tacky, uh, very sticky kind of a feel to it um, as far as the grip that it you know, has. So it shouldn't slide around or move around too much. So that's pretty nice. But other than that, I say you have these pretty large pockets and they're pretty deep. I mean, I can fit my entire hand and a little bit you know, above my wrist into it. So cell phones, wallets, keys, shouldn't be a real major issue. So. Anyway, these are just really comfortable. Like I said, you know, people wear 
basketball shoes that probably never played basketball. So you can wear mountain biking shorts without riding a mountain bike. I just find them to be very comfortable and I like them a lot. So anyway, let me show you what they're capable of in terms of the water repellent aspect. And other than that, find out more at the link below. Thank you. Okay, so hopefully this works. Hopefully it doesn't make a very large mess. So what I'm gonna do, try to create like a little bit of a valley of sort, and I have a little absorbent little coaster here. So there's not a lot, but there's just a little bit of water in here. And uh, hopefully I don't make too big a mess. So let's see what happens here. All right, so that worked out perfectly. So I don't know how well you saw that, but it just completely sheeted right off, and it actually is now soaking into this little chamois cloth coaster that I have here. And there's like three little drops of water. If I wipe those away, well, you can't really see it on here, but a little bit of coffee stains. I don't know how well it shows up as far as the water, but there's a pretty good little ring of water taking up a pretty good little portion of this. And the shorts, I mean, I can't feel anything whatsoever as far as water goes. Yeah, nothing whatsoever. So the water just kind of sheets right off, which is really nice. So it's gonna you know, give you an idea of how well that works. So like a tiny little brief demonstration what you might expect. It just beads up and sheets right off. So that's really, really nice. Okay, so check out the link below for more information. And thank you again for watching.